If you've ever seen former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright on TV, in the newspaper, or possibly around Wellesley, you might have noticed one of her famous accessories. What, what is the story of this, this pen? This is uh, breaking the glass ceiling. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was well chosen, right. I would say, for This for is what I spend people. when I get up in the morning is trying to figure out what's going to happen. Throughout her career, the Wellesley College graduate has used her jewelry to convey diplomatic messages. Oh, and none of this pin stuff would have happened if it hadn't been for Saddam Hussein. I'll tell you what happened. I went to the United Nations as uh, ambassador, and it was after the Gulf War, and I was an instructed ambassador, and uh, the ceasefire had been translated into a series of sanctions resolutions, and my instructions were to say perfectly terrible things about Saddam Hussein constantly, which he deserved. He had invaded another country. And so all of a sudden a poem appeared in the papers in Baghdad comparing me to many things, but among them an unparalleled serpent. And so I happened to have a snake pin, so <clears throat> I wore it when we talked about Iraq. Uh, and when I went out to meet the press, they zeroed in and said, why are you wearing that snake pin? I said, because Saddam Hussein compared me to an unparalleled serpent. And then I thought, well, this is fun. So I went out and <clears throat> I bought a lot of pins that would, in fact, reflect what I thought we were going to do on any given day. So that's how it all started. Oh, Albright was named the first female Secretary of State in 1997 and at that time became the highest ranking woman in the history of the U.S. government. So what she wore became a media talking point. Well, it's pretty irritating actually because nobody ever describes what a man is wearing, but people did pay attention to what clothes I had. What was interesting was that before I went up to New York as U.N. ambassador, I talked to Jean Kirkpatrick, who'd been ambassador before me, and she said, you've got to get rid of your professor clothes, go out and look like a diplomat. So that did give me a lot of opportunities to go shopping. <laughs> uh, but still, there were all kinds of questions about did you wear a hat, how short was your skirt, and one of the things, if you remember, Condoleezza Rice was at some event and she wore boots and she got criticized over that, and no guy ever gets criticized, but that's the least of it. While serving under President Clinton, Albright became very well known for wearing pins that conveyed her views about the situation at hand. And now the Davis Museum is showcasing some of them. The traveling exhibit named Read My Pins, the Madeleine Albright Collection, is currently on display at the museum at Wellesley College. It reveals an intriguing story about American history and foreign policy, as told through Secretary Albright's jeweled pins. The exhibit runs until July 20th. For Wellesley Media, I'm Natalie Kaplan.